What's going on guys? Welcome back to 3D Arcade. Today we're going over the team builder for week five of the Friends Battle League, the FBL. This week we're going up against Moth. We are looking to go with a break even record. Actually, are we... Yeah, break even record? Break even? No, we're one and three. Oof. We're going for two and three. We're going to try it out. If we can get all three wins from here, six and seven week, we make it to playoffs almost guaranteed, especially because of who we're playing. Uh, and if we do it, we have some really good plans. We're making some trades week by week by week that you guys will see as we move on that we're going to have a, just a completely fun to play, annoying to battle team going into playoffs if we get there. But for now, let's jump on into it. This week, like I said, we're going up against Moth. So we have uh, got some uh, a pretty big team to go up against here. But like me, all Moth knows about competitive is doubles. So he's still learning singles for sure. We have a little bit of a lead on him there. Looking at his team, he has got Mega Charizard Y, the Charizard that I wish I had. I don't think we're getting it from him, but we'll find out. Uh, we have uh, Dragapult, Nihiligo, Nilgo, Nihiligo, whatever you say that thing's name. Uh, we have Azumarill, Obstagoon, Ndidi Male, Duraludon, Milotic, Ditto, Imposter Allowed, Ditto, hardest Pokemon to prep for ever. Talonflame, Vanellix, Lunatone, Mr. Mime, Silicobra, Shellos, Ivysaur, and that's it. I almost said Charizard again. So right away, the things I'm worried about, Dragapult, scary, fast, big boy. Uh, after that, we got Talonflame for speed control. I don't know that he's bringing it. He's brought a pretty similar team every week. So we're going to see what happens when we try to prep for everything. Uh, and we also have uh, a concern with Vanellix. Vanellix has Snow Warning. Vanellix has uh, Vanellix and has Snow Warning for Hail. Mega Charizard Y has Drought for Sun. Both of those are bad for us because we are going with the Sand Strat this week. We're looking to bring Dragazolt and sweep up. So we're going to see how that goes down. Hopefully it goes okay. Outside of that, I, I'm, I'm feeling like we have some answers for him. It's kind of tough to build a team that covers everything, but the team that he's brought pretty much every week, Dragapult, Nihilgo, um, I believe Obstagoon, Duraludon, Charizard, and Vanellix, I think. Um, what, did he bring three dragons? Does he have a third dragon? I think he had a third dragon when he started, but he's made a couple of changes, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much leaning for Dragapult and Duraludon, and then I expect Charizard, Nihilgo, Azumarill, and then probably either Obstagoon and Didi or Ditto. I don't see Talonflame coming because our team is pretty slow, so Charizard can still get it done and it's more powerful. Uh, all you gain with Talonflame is Gale Wings and Speed, and Flying is not doing a whole lot to us and uh, for Gale Wings, and then the Speed's not really that important with our slow team. Lunatone, Mr. Mime, Silicobra, Shellos, Ivysaur don't feel like they have a place. Melodic could come, kind of tough. But shout out to Syndaxatrix, Tim in the front office. We are in full effect this week. We've built together for this and the BBR. The BBR battle is going up against QSN and the Texas Zygards a few days after this, so make sure you guys check it out. The battle for this will be up tomorrow or later today if I'm behind again. They went up at the same time last week. But going over our Pokemon, this week we are bringing six Pokemon. I'm going to name them all off for you, and then we're going to talk about why we're bringing them. We're bringing Better Premia, the Tapu Fini, once again, Kazooie's Cousin, the Dracozolt, Breezy Peaks, the Gigalith, Tangelo, the Tangrowth, Goomby the Gudra and public practice the Slow King. So right away, uh, we don't have Fairy Dragon Steel, but we do have Fairy Dragon. Uh, we do have Trick Room capabilities, but we're not bringing it. Uh, and on top of that, so we're kind of threatening Trick Room without bringing Trick Room. And on top of that, we're bringing a Regenerator Core, which is pretty fun. And uh, jumping in, let's go over Tapu Fini real quick. Better premium the Tapu Fina. The better premium the Tapu Fina. Yes, pa Tapu Fini the better prima. Whatever. Bring in the choice scarf because ultimately we decided rather than damage output, it'd be nice to have something that could just go in, do some stuff, outspeed kind of a thing. Uh, we're pretty bulky. We got Misty Surge this week. We thought about bringing the, uh, there's something. So we're kind of going against our Thunder Wave here, but we kind of want Misty Surge to, uh, to present. Basically, it's a strat to prevent Obstagoon from being burned, which is really cool. Um, it can't burn itself and get its facade off, uh, despite messing up our T-Wave. T-Wave is also going to be important. It'd be great if we could T-Wave Dragapult with Slow King and then get Feeny out. So ta Dragapult's forced to switch, but we have five turns of Misty Surge so that it's not going to do anything crazy. But 
We're bringing Moonblast, Skull, Defog, and Knock off this week. Our EV spread is going to include 204 EVs in HP for bulk, 148 in special attack, 104 in special defense, and 52 in speed. Uh, that is basically just to build it kind of moddy it's going to be uh moddy buff uh it's going to be modest so that it can hit somewhat hard with that moon blast doing a two hit ko i believe to uh dragapult and all that and the things it want i think anything it wants to hit with moon blast is two hit ko that's the idea uh scald is sad scald would be would be good it's all right against uh talon flame would be good against dragapult or uh not dragapult charizard but drought so that's kind of stinks uh we got a good amount of bulk here with our hp uh, originally we had lefties so that was part of it but really we wanted general bulk there uh knockoff with choice scarf is great because we can come in click knockoff outspeed anything we want to outspeed that's not also scarfed and uh i believe that's what the 52 in speed's doing is making sure we outspeed everything that we think is coming uh probably not talon flame but again don't expect it uh get a knockoff off get the item off to slow it down a lot uh defogs here in case he brings some hazards just so that we have it somewhere very important for us i think uh, and Moonblast is our primary form of damage. That's all there is to say about Better Prima, the Tapu Fini. Next up, we're bringing Kazooie's coming, the cousin of Drakazole, also with the Choice Scarf. This is coming with some speed and some hits to try to knock out most of this team for us. This week, we are Jolly, which is going to be up in speed, down in special attack. We're bringing max attack and speed with uh, four uh, EVs and defense, just the remaining four, no big deal. Uh, sand rush ability with breezy peaks coming as well to make sure basically we had to be sc scarfed alone will outspeed modest dragapult i think if i remember correctly however jolly dragapult or anything with up speed not doing it choice scarf definitely not doing it to outspeed scarf dragapult we had to bring sand and scarf and uh even if he brings specs i think we still needed the scarf um so we just we just wanted to be careful so we're bringing scarf so if our sand's not up or something we can figure it out especially with the weather options he's got available even if that's not what he's thinking about we're bringing bolt beak dragon claw earthquake and facade uh so facade's an interesting bring we're bringing facade so in case we get out there and we haven't clicked an attack yet and somebody burns us or something we can hit him with a facade and keep the damage up bolt beak's great it's just like vicious rend it does double damage when you hit quick it's uh, not quite okoing everything, but it's a two hit okoing, two hit KOing everything, okoing a lot of stuff. Uh, I just realized I have a video playing in the background that you guys can't hear, but I want to pause. Okay, so we're doing some great, great damage with Bolt Beak Dragon Claws there to click against uh, Talon, not Talon Flame. I'm reading names against Dragon Bolt and Duraludon. That's the idea there, and uh, that's pretty much it. Earthquake is doing some good damage, I believe, to Nahilgo. Uh, cause it's quad weak. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, uh, it does good to Duraludon too, but we got dragon claw. So that's what we're doing there. Fast, super fast hitter. Gigalith breezy peaks. The Gigalith is coming again this week as well with the careful nature up in special defense down in special attack. We've got 180 EVs in HP, 76 in attack and 252 in special defense. We are specially bulky as heck. And naturally we're 130 at freaking uh by the way I'm, I'm doing all these stats at level 100 i don't think i've ever mentioned that i build at level 100 ev at level 50 and put it back to level 100 so if i gin them or anything into a game i it, it just automatically makes sure they're okay to learn everything they learn that's the idea but they do go down to level 50 in the battle so these are level 100 stats but we're base 130 defense which means we're 296 at level 100 so still better even with all that defense and special defense investment uh, but we're bringing the lefties and sandstream sandstream we need the weather obviously for drake Azult. uh lefties is for some health which is why we threw that 180 in hp rather than like defense or something uh we don't care about speed like at all we're not outspeeding anything important on this team we're bringing edge quake this week stone edge earthquake stab awesome super good stuff earthquakes not but you get the idea we're bringing toxic in case we just want to fire that off on something if we're about to go Shoot, if we're just stuck in on something and we've got weather for the rest of the time we need it, we just toxic it off to get that extra chip. Uh, Stealth Rocks is also great because I expect him to need to switch a lot. I expect to force a good amount of switching. Same as we did last week against Bennett Bandit. So that's what we're doing here. But Stone Edge is going to hit stuff pretty good. Earthquake's going to hit stuff pretty good. General damage, output, fun. But primarily here for the weather and we get some hazards. 
Next up, we're bringing Tangelo the Tangrowth with the Assault Vest and the Regenerator ability. How do I ever run it any different? So this week, we got 252 in Spadef and HP, Relaxed Nature up in Defense, Down in Speed. Pretty good stuff, pretty standard set. Earthquake, Giga Drain, Brick Break, and Knock Off. Just another knockoff user to get some items off. Brick Break in case he brings some screens because he has a good amount of screen setters and it would not be a bad idea to try that. Giga Drain for some extra recovery and Earthquake for that Neil Halego or something like that. I think we died in Neil Halego poison jab, but maybe he won't know that. We'll figure it out. Maybe he won't run it. We'll find out. Brick Break, also good against Vanellix. Probably won't stay in, but good against it. Uh, we have managed to bring our Spadef up to 199 plus our gosh darn assault vest, which is going to be bringing us to 298 and a half, which is pretty good. Spadef wise, we're pretty all right. So that's Tangelo the Tangrowth. Uh, next up, we're bringing Goombi with the assault vest as well. We're bringing the gooey ability this week because we don't expect a uh we we, we don't expect a, a grass type does he even have a grass type i don't think he does we don't know why you'd be using a grass move don't know who's bringing a grass move super aren't expecting it so we figure let's just get gooey out here so uh the idea is if we get it on a dragapult and we're at full we live a hit and even if we don't kill it for some reason it's now slower which means we outspeed it unless it's scarfed uh but you know, at the very least, maybe we come in, we hit it with a, we hit it with the Draco, do most of its damage. We probably kill with rocks, but just in case it lives, it's slowed down for that turn unless it switches. Uh, so we're bringing Draco Meteor. Uh, primarily, by the way, this is going to be a Duraludon check. We like its matchup against Duraludon better than Dragapult, but Draco Meteor is going to do a minimum, I think, of 80 to either of them, and it's likely to kill. Thunderbolt, Earthquake, and Focus Blast are also coming. Focus Blast is here for some fighting type coverage earthquakes here for some awesome things that don't like to take ground sight moves on this team and thunderbolt is here for like a zoomeril or something like that coming through so pretty good stuff our ev spread this week is pretty good uh the reason that draco might not kill is we're only running 52 evs in special attack but we're modest so we're getting some stuff in there base 110 already doing pretty good anyway uh, Tim specifically EV'd this to make sure it, I believe it kills non-defense invested Dragapult, uh, with this, uh, and that's, that's basically it. We put 12 EVs in speed, so that way there's something that's pretty close to us. I think it might be Vanillix. There's some stuff that's pretty close to us in speed, so if he runs zero speed or like four speed, we have two, a couple, we have a two point thing to try to outspeed, you know, min speed plus one in a couple of places we have 192 in physical defense so that way if we have physical dragapult coming we still live abandoned darts i'm pretty sure is the idea there if i remember correctly and then we do it's been a few days since we built pardon pardon my if i remember correctly we have 252 in hp as well for general bulk and that av is actually bringing up our uh base 150 special d uh all the way up we're at 336 times one and a half we're at 504 special defense so we didn't really need to invest anything there against this particular squad. That's Goombi. And last up, we have Public Practice, our doctor, our slow king with the regenerator ability and the heavy duty boots so that he can switch in and out. Regenerator with boots is just nice. Uh, you know, maybe he expects Primarium to come in for the defog, but we bring in slow king. And so he makes a bad move against it. And we don't take any hazards damage if he brings it. Calm is the nature with the up in special defense this week. Trying to spread out our EV spreads and our defense abilities. Once again, we have got 12 points in speed just to outspeed anything min speed uh, that's nearby us. I don't remember specifically what it is in this case, but it also might have just been where that 12 points ended up. Not 100% sure to be perfectly honest with you there. But we got 252 in HP, so we get the most of that one third health regenerated when we do our regenerator switching. We've also got 254 in regular defense so that we're rocking pretty good defensively. So that is our build here. We're bringing Thunder Wave for that Dragapult and any other fast mons this week. Does he have an electric type? I don't believe he does. Nope, he has no electric type. So he's going to have no immunity to that either, which is great. Uh, we are bringing Scald once again for another water type move. Slack off for some in-battle healing without having to switch. 50%, pretty amazing. And Future Sight, so that if we want to come in, click Future Sight, regenerate out after a hit, 
then boom, we get 33% of our health back minus whatever we take as damage while we're in. And we get two attacks the next turn. Boom. Boom. Pretty easy in Draft League to forget about future sites as well if you're not experienced. So it's just nice to maybe if he stays in on something that he thinks he wants to stay in on, it dies because he forgets about it. That's our squad though this week. We're kind of slow, kind of fast. Depends on who you're talking about. We're going to see how they go. Moth, I think. Moth and Leo are I'm very scared of. Lucar can be formidable. Uh, he's our next week opponent because he's super unpredictable in draft league, but I'm hoping we can bring it home. Uh, I'm super busy. So at the same time of being scared of making playoffs and having to fit it in, also kind of want to make it for the team we're building for it. So we'll see what happens and I'll see you guys in the battle tomorrow. So have a good one. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think of the team in the comments and subscribe if you're new because we got lots of draft league content coming and check out the 25 days of Christmas. We got a few days left. Peace, everybody.